Well, good morning. The church this day remembers St. John of the Cross, our entrance antiphon. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we take a moment to prepare our hearts to welcome the Lord in word and Eucharist. We ask the Lord to cleanse our hearts and purify our spirits. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasps your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O warm Jacob, O Magot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a tracing sleeve, sharp, new, and double aids to trace the mountains and cross them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow now them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will sit in the wasteland, the cypress, together with the plane tree and the pine. 
that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. Our response, the Lord is gracious and merciful, is slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O oh my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O oh Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Lead the discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Let them make known to me in your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, in today's Gospel, Jesus said, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. We see that when John the Baptist preached repentance, he was executed. When Jesus proclaimed God's love and mercy for all people, he was crucified. The saint that we remember today, born Juan Yeps, also known as St. John of the Cross, certainly had his share of crosses. Born around 1542, he grew up without knowing his father. His father died when he was born, so he and his family lived in poverty. After becoming a Carmelite friar, he tried to reform his community to a deeper spiritual life. But for all his troubles, some members of his community had him in prison for nine months. He was beaten and abused to the point of death. One night, however, he managed to make a miraculous escape at night. His greatest work, Dark Night of the Soul, was composed while he was in that prison. He wrote that our relationship with God, like any great love affair, is marked by periods of joy as well as desolation. At times, God appears hidden, and the soul suffers and feels abandoned. But to the person who seeks holiness, the suffering is simply one aspect of love, 
rather than its absence. If we endure the suffering, our souls will be led to ecstatic union with God. The pain we experience, he explains, is not without a purpose, just as the burning of a log transforms the wood into fire. So the stripping away of our imperfections prepares us for the embrace of God. In the spiritual life, the paradox is that the cross is the path through which we draw nearer to God, and in the process, find life. Jesus taught us that if we were to be his disciples, we are to take up our crosses. And in embracing the cross like our Lord did, God can turn seeming defeat into victory. May St. John and our Lord help us with our crosses, that in so doing we may not only be transformed into greater holiness, but, vict but become victorious against the evil one. Let us pray. Let us pray then for ourselves and all Christians, especially those who experience the dark night because of persecutions in places like China and in the Middle East. For them, we pray to the Lord. For the violence that continues in the Middle East, in Ukraine and Myanmar, that the dark night may bring about lasting peace, we pray to the Lord. In this holy season, we remember all who are homebound or struggling with depression and mental illness, that the Lord may dispel the darkness that surrounds them. We pray to the Lord. For all who bear the cross of illness, we remember Odette Ochaveri, Joe Voller, Anne Lynn Liu, Maria Elena Gallardo, Patrick Quinn, Maria Chung, and Michael Connell. So for all of them, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Stephen Miley. So for him, for all who have died, and all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. I invite you now to take a moment of silence to offer your own personal intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you who are good to all and compassionate toward all your works, hear the prayers of your children and in your goodness grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Stephen Miley and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith, together we pray, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
our communion antiphon, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone.